yeah, it was down at the lake. And uh, this is the carbon dioxide sensor that keeps shutting itself off. And on a plug, you're going to have a green wire, blue wire, tan wire, brown wire. But the only wires you're going to need to connect are the black and white wire on the connection side. You don't need the sensor no more, so you just come down here and you find a black and white one and you plug them in. But again, I'm going to tell you, this is at your own risk. I mean, without the carbon dioxide, I mean, if you have it in your house, like, it could kill you. I mean, so, I mean, I just didn't want to wait a few days and, until the sensor came from when. I mean, I just bought this. But see the connector inside the panel? That's where it'll plug into. You just want to find a black and white pinhole and run a, a jumper in between those two. And this is a win. 5600. I mean, it's brand new. It's sad that it just happened this weekend. I mean, you can tell I'm sweating. Poof. But I'm glad we fixed it. And, you know, the black and white wire connect them right there where it plugs in. So if you want to bypass yours, I mean, I don't recommend it. But if you have to do that just to get by until the sensor comes, that's what I would do.